Uh, I think uh, Erie's challenge will be to, to continue to revise and revisit its, its strategy making uh, to, to ensure that it's using its resources in the optimal manner. Uh, the resources you have now are quite a bit smaller than they were when I left here. And uh, yet I think the call, demand for the kinds of research that are needed uh, are no less than they were then. They're just a different kind of research. Your work in, in um, biological uh, splice, gene splicing, uh, all of these, in some sense, exotic kinds of areas uh, will continue to be uh, important. And I've always admired Erie for being flexible enough to, to get out, to stop, uh, to terminate work that it, it really doesn't belong in anymore, and continue to look for, for areas where it can make a, a sizable contribution. I think the areas uh, that I've, I, you know, I've been gone for 15 years now, more than that, 17 years almost, um, that I get excited about when I read about Erie today are your, uh, your challenges to get better nutrition into the existing rice plant, uh, better resistance to diseases and insects into the existing rice plant, as well as increasing yields, making it uh, more adaptable to conditions, environmental conditions in countries in Africa, for example, where they really have major, major uh, food problems. Although I won't say we don't have problems here, we certainly have major problems and will continue to. Um, the area of uh, climate change. You know, is there anything that the area can do to keep the greenhouse gas emissions down or reduce them to somehow reduce our overall problem of, of, uh, of uh, climate change? global warming, that sort of thing. So I think there are plenty of challenges for you to, to continue to, to look to the future with.